Hey, it's Camo with the National Access Facebook show presented by Solus North Gulch Apartments. We're Taste Matters and we are here today in the studio with a rising artist, former Belmont student, uh, Avalon Cayley. It's so great to have you. It's so great to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, First, we got to talk your name, Avalon. Yes. Were your parents fans of Roxy Music? They actually were reading a book called The Mists of Avalon. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, they were. <laughs> that's the whole. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh man, it's gone now. Anyway, <laughs> you you can look it up. So that's what Google's for. Yeah. Uh, and Kaylee is mm -hmm. is a real Celtic. Name. Yeah, it's a Celtic name, and um, my dad side of the family is Scottish and. They just really, they like that name, so. <laughs> so your, your name is Mythical Party. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Excellent. Uh, so you just recently graduated Belmont. I did. And, mm -hmm. and you're working in the music business. I am. Yeah. For, for probably one of the biggest publishers. Yeah, it's actually the number one uh, publisher in the world. It's Sony ATV. Yeah, so a shout out, shout out to the boss. Yeah. Yes, yeah. shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> I love working there. It's a really great opportunities being presented and getting to be in the music industry and surrounded by the talent. It just continues to be inspiring. You know, it's awesome. That's cool. Now, let's talk about your music. You have a really unique sound to your voice, or I thought. And when, when you started talking about the Celtic influences, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Because there is a little bit of that in mm -hmm. there. Uh, is that on purpose or accidental? Just purely the way it comes out of you. Yeah, I think it's just accidental. I've only been attracted, I guess, to the singer-songwriter sound and kind of folksy um, country. Um, so... I think just being inspired by James Taylor and Carole King and um, growing up listening to their music has kind of influenced me. Nothing heavyweight about that, is You're it? Right. <laughs> <laughs> when you listen to those people, do, does that feel, is, is that a, a bar that's set pretty high for you? Do you set your, yourself that kind of bar to be as good as them? Yeah, I would hope to be as good as them one day and um, I think James Taylor is the whole reason I started writing music. Really? And yeah. Wow. Sitting in my room and put him the CD and the CD player and just uh, uh, when I was 12 years old, I was like, you know what? I want to try and write a song because I've been playing guitar since I was seven and singing forever. So I just grabbed the guitar and um, started to write something. And my dad came in. He goes, "Who is that by?" And I was like, "Oh, it's my song." I wanted to, you know, I was listening to James yeah. Taylor and. He tells his stories so beautifully, and I just wanted to try it out, and I've loved it ever since. And, and so you like his songwriting as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's written some pretty heavy songs. Yeah, songwriting is beautiful. Do you feel like, when you're talking about Carol King and James Taylor, mm -hmm. do you feel like you were born out of your era? Do you think you would have fit more in that, that yeah. 70, early 70s? Sometimes style? I do think that... Um, you know, the storytelling of music is almost in a way being forgotten. And I think people like um, Casey Musgraves and Chris Stapleton are really bringing that back in the modern day right now. Yeah, and not to mention people like Ashley McBride. Yes, and Ashley and McBride and... Um, Brandy Clark. Yeah. Brandy Carlisle. Carlisle. Same thing. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Um, so I think those people who are really coming up today and sharing their beautiful talent is um, who's inspiring me in the present. So it gives you something really good to shoot for. Yeah, definitely. How close do you think you are? Um, I would like to think I am closer, but I think it's just continuous hard work and um, making those connections and being in writing as much as I can and forming friendships because really what I've learned working on the business side of the industry is it's all about connections. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm just going to continue to play out and um, you know hope that I get to where I want to be and I think that it's close. So we'll see. Do you do a lot of the songwriter rounds here in town? I do. Um, I actually recently in March just played at the Bluebird Cafe for the first time. Which How was cool is that? So amazing. Just sitting there and being surrounded by there's a wall of pictures of all the legends that have played on that stage and I felt so truly blessed because when I first moved to Nashville, went to around there and I was like, yeah, I want to do this one yeah. day. And so being asked to 
be a, you know perform as a songwriter here in Nashville. It was a true. So you actually got to perform it around. It wasn't a, one of the open mic. Nights. Yeah, it was around. Oh, um, nice. It was on a Friday, which was super cool. Who was on the round with you? Um, Becca Nicholson, um, uh, Jack. I can't remember his last name, um, but they were all you know new upcoming yeah. um, songwriters and. It was very neat to be a part of it. And I'm actually, um, Mark Irwin is a writer at Sony mm -hmm. ATV. Yeah. Um, he's been, written a lot of great yes, hits. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he, we've formed a friendship since working there. And he asked me to be a part of Around in June. Wow. And so it's June 15th. I'll be in Around. June, June 15th yes. at the Bluebird. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll be on Around with Mark Irwin. That's, yes. that's very cool. That's really cool. I'm super stoked about that. He is a wonderful. Um, man, and I feel really great that he believes in me to, you know, put me in a round with him. Is, is that a really special thing? Because you, I mean, you hear about co-writes and, and alliances in town all yeah. the time, but for somebody of that heavyweight magnitude mm -hmm. to kind of take you under his wing, yeah. it, it, is that one of those things that you just kind of you know, you shake your head and it's like, I can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, when he, you know, I went to a round that he invited me to at the listening room and just really sitting there and listening to his songs, it really made me feel um, just so grateful and happy that he looks at me as someone that can get to that level, I guess, who he believes in me that much. It's really just incredible. It is like a... There's no words for it. It takes my, you know, it's speechless. I'm speechless. Is it hard when you're working at some place like Sony ATV and having your own thing as a songwriter and a singer? Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like there's there's a line there that you don't want to be saying, "Oh, I'm a songwriter too." Right. But you want to, but you don't feel it's appropriate to. Is there ever a difficulty with that line? I feel like um, I won't just come out and say it, um, usually they'll ask me, is there something else you want to be doing yeah. than working at the front desk? And then, you know, I'm free. My boss is like, you're free to tell them, you know, if yeah. they ask you. And now that I've worked there over a year, I've formed these friendships to where they know and they support me. And um, there definitely, I think, is a line where you don't want to be pushy. Yeah. But um, it's nice that they know, you know, they, they follow me on Instagram now and they see that I'm pushing to be an artist and a songwriter. Do you ever think there would be a day where you get more enamored with the business side of things and think, yeah, I could run Sony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and forget about the singer-songwriter thing, or is that singer-songwriter that strong in you that that's, that's your focus? I would say that that definitely is my focus, yeah. becoming an artist and a songwriter. I mean, the reason I guess I love publishing and why I'm in that right now is because either way, you're going to get music out there. It's like pitching music, you're making music happen. You're seeing it before it's out, and you're and music is a universal language, so you're going to be affecting people with that job. So I see both avenues as reaching people and affecting people with music and that's all I really want to do is share music and be a part of it but um, my true passion and I would think calling because I've wanted to do this since I could talk you know I played guitar in seven and um, it's definitely being an artist and being on stage because one of my favorite moments is looking out and having people connect with a song that I'm singing. So your boss is, you should tell him that his job is safe for a little while. Yes, <laughs> his job is safe for a while. <laughs> you want to do a song for us and then yeah, talk some more? Yeah, I'd love to. Cool. So um, this is a new single that I came out in February. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Looking Back on You. And it's, um, I usually write from real experiences. Um, and it was from a past relationship, but... I wanted to write something that wasn't, you know, I feel like we look back on an ex when we kind of have hard feelings, um, but with this person, we grew a lot in the relationship, so when I look back on him, I want the best for him, I have no regrets, and that's kind of what this song's about. <laughs> Please give me some credit for the times I've seen you with some 
somebody else. I've got a horrible pain in my stomach. Still hope that she's all that she wanted. You're happy, I'm happy. Trust me, just know there's no second I could regret looking back on you. Facebook show and I'm Kayla and that's her. And just so you <laughs> doing things. Get it all straight. Mm -hmm. uh, you're from California. I am. Uh, and, and you couldn't come from much more of a country place mm -hmm. in California. Yeah, um, Sacramento area, but Folsom and uh, Johnny Cash sang at our prison, yeah. um, which was very cool. I one of the first covers I ever learned was Folsom Prison Blues. You'd have to. I mean, that's, yeah. How, how could, could you, you not? not? <laughs> <laughs> jinx. Yeah, jinx. Um, <laughs> um, and and there's been some really hot artists come out of that area mm -hmm. too. John Party probably yes. the biggest right now. So cool. Um, actually, one of my dad's best friends uh, is. Uh, his John Party's uncle. Oh, so great. it's like a weird connection. <laughs> but um, John Party actually writes for Sony TV yeah. as well. So that's cool. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You should get, you know, homies. I know. Pay to pay, yeah. Exactly. Be cool. Hey, we're from the same Wouldn't place. that be cool, though, to, to play a gig together? Oh my gosh. Yeah. John Party. I would be <laughs> just thrilled. So, hey, John, if you want to do yeah. a gig, <laughs> yeah, John so Party, a, regu a regular viewer to this little Yes. <laughs> But yeah, he's he's hot. He's, mm -hmm. he's really smoking with his stuff. Yeah. And he came, it, it's another one of those stories where he's been plugging at it for years. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then all of a sudden, oh, you're instantly famous. Mm -hmm. Where have you been all my life? And I think that's just, you know, shows that it takes a lot of hard work. And they say that this is a five-year town. No, but I year town, baby. Feel, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I feel like you five years of making those connections. And then you another can five take years, another five years and you're just working and you're rolling and trying yeah. to... Get it going. Uh, there's a songwriter, friend of the show, uh, Warren Davis, mm -hmm. and he, he's got a song called 15 Years in a 10 Year Town, yeah. which is, is really about it. Right. Uh, so there seem to be, and I was saying before for the interview, it seems like in the past year I've interviewed so many hot artists from mm -hmm. California, yeah. Yeah. and it seems like there's this whole California resurgence. Mm -hmm. In country music, it kind of went, you know, underground right. for a while. But but now it just seems like every other artist 
is is Cali. I would say that growing up, I listened to a lot of country music and. Our radio station back home, 105.1 um, KNCI, they... There's a plug for you. Yeah, but they, um, uh, it was great because last summer they brought me, they do this festival called Golf and Guitars, and it's a country music festival, mm -hmm. and um, it was so great to be a part of it because they do a lot of those kind of festivals, but it's raising money for charity, it's a two-day event, and so I was part of the songwriting night. And then the next day is an artist night, but during the day we play golf for yeah. the charity of our choice. And, you know, I think those events are really um, bringing, I don't know, more fans to country music yeah. over there. And it's been great. How, how did you do at the golf and those things? I actually did pretty well. <laughs> um, my dad's actually a golf pro, oh, so yeah, okay. um, I got some tips, which was super fun. And yeah. he was there, which is exciting, well, too. That's so, great. yeah. Is it a real family effort for you? You know, you've obviously had the support coming to town to, mm -hmm. to play Bella. Are, are your family really proud of how, how far you've progressed and what you're doing? Yeah, I feel very lucky. There's never been a moment where my parents or anyone in my family has been like, do you want to think about something else? You know, a yeah. different career path and ever something since... Something to fall back on. Yeah, yeah. fall back. <laughs> Uh, plan B, if you will, and uh, my parents have always been stick to plan A, and, and um, we're going to mm -hmm, yeah. we're going to be there every step of the way. I've been very much supported um, by my grandparents and my cousins, and I'm an only child, so my cousins are kind of like my siblings. I grew yeah. up right next door to them, and um, but my parents are my number one fans and biggest supporters, and they've really been there. Continue to push me every step of the way, which is awesome. Yeah, that's excellent to have that support because a lot of people don't because the families don't don't get it. Right. Mm -hmm. And well, be a doctor, be a lawyer, and then yeah. you can play music in your part time thing. Yeah, you know? and you know my dad is um, in the sports industry, and my mom is in a nonprofit. She runs a nonprofit, so. They don't really know the music industry, but what's really cool is because I was so interested in it because they're such big supporters. They actually like bought books to read up yeah. on it, and wow. um, so they are. And, um, and they still let you do it. Yeah, <laughs> they still <laughs> said go for it. Wow. So um, I feel very lucky. That's nice. Uh, and will they be the ones saying, "Well, the last ones to leave California to shut out the lights"? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, you want to do another song? Yes, I'd Excellent. love to. Um, so I'm actually going to do one that I wrote when I first moved to Nashville. Um, it's on my EP. I put out an EP about a year and a half ago. And um, it's just called Country Song. And when I moved here, um, you know, I was, I've listened to country music growing up, but really it was like, okay, why do I love country music so much? And I feel like because there's a continuous theme and um, storytelling and it, I think country music we resonate it with it because it makes us emotional I think that we can think about things that are you know in our own life and yeah. so that's kind of what inspired yeah. this song let's do it
man in black taught me to pray the king told me when to leave my exes I saw those blue eyes in the rain Keats are Cadillacs long black train those boys from Oklahoma see God bless Texas so I sat down and asked her what that meant she smiled at me Facebook is just Avalon Kaylee. Um, please feel free to direct message me. Um, I love connecting with fans and um, tell me which song you liked and and uh, just uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> You've been a great guest. Thanks for, wa for thanks for watching. Thanks yeah. for being here. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. Uh, and we'll catch you on the next show. Um, again, check out Avalon Kaylee. That's K A L I. Yes. So it's really easy. Uh, and thanks for watching the National Access Facebook show. I'm Camo, and we're presented, of course, by the good people at Souls North Gulf Apartments, where taste matters. Catch me every Thursday morning on 88.9 Tamworth FM in Tamworth, Australia, and Sundays at midday on Chris Country in the UK. See you next time. <laughs>